dirty audio leak of Diddy destroying Meek Mill in bed. <laughs> Hollywood drama never stops as Hollywood celebrities finds themselves in an awkward situation every day. This new leaked audio of Meek Mill screaming for his life at the hands of Sean Diddy Combs is the latest piece of evidence against Diddy. The internet is now going crazy as many fans of the two rappers involved in the audio were shocked to find out what has been going on behind closed doors. I will show you exactly why the audio is real and who among Diddy's associates leaked the audio and even the reason why the audio was leaked to the public. And just before that, show some love by giving a thumbs up to this video, hit that subscribe button and be sure to get the latest of Hollywood celebrity news, gossip, rumors and drama, here at Top Celebrity Lifestyle. So, this audio was leaked due to some series of events that have happened from some months back, to the latest events that happened recently. And for you to get the whole picture here, we have to go back to February. In February, producer Little Rod filed a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. While there were many allegations against Diddy in the lawsuit, there is one that is very important, as we are basing our video on. One of that allegation in the lawsuit is that, Little Rod stated that Diddy has been bragging about having a romantic affair with Meek Mill and that he has slept with him. Following the lawsuit, the social media went wild as these allegations of Diddy and Meek Mill having an affair went viral in a matter of minutes. When Meek Mill learned about it and saw how this could tarnish his name, he started defending his name. He started tweeting telling the public that the system is trying to destroy the image of black leaders like him. Here's the exact words of his tweet. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me though. You gotta really kill me and I still will get bigger after death. Meek Mill at this point was trying hard to salvage his reputation which was going down the drain. But one thing that makes us believe that the audio is true is that Meek Mill never denied that he had a romantic affair with Diddy. Instead, he started telling the public that the lawsuit trending was computer generated and urged them to look for the real lawsuit. He tweeted, let's find the real lawsuit to make sure it's not computer generated. It's obvious I'm going indecent, y'all gonna see a lot of bad press about me. I'm going against the system they see it's wide open. We have a whole new system. Based on Meek Mill's tweets you can imagine how the whole situation was disastrous for him. But as Meek Mill has been busy defending himself and repairing his name, there are those people who wants the truth to get out there, and they are willing to do anything for the truth to be known by the public. That's why the audio was leaked to make what has been going on behind closed doors nearly impossible to deny by these two rappers. And by now, you might be wondering who leaked the now trending audio. <laughs> Interestingly, the audio was leaked by Diddy's former bodyguard going by the name Gene Deal. This is the person who had exclusive access to Diddy's Hollywood house parties, which by the way, we've heard that weird stuff happen in such parties. A popular Twitter account also confirmed that Diddy's former bodyguard leaked the audio. On its tweet it says, Diddy's former bodyguard has released audio of Diddy destroying Meek Mill in the bedroom after Meek's drink was spiked by Diddy. This tweet also proves what has been speculated many times that Diddy and his associates usually spikes the drinks of random people in their freaking parties so that they can do all the dirty things they want to them. And with no doubt Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, is the one who leaked the audio. This is because he has on several occasions speak out about Sean Diddy Combs' wild party saying that they are predatory parties where many dirty stuff goes down. Yo, I seen Puff smoke cigarettes, smoke weed on camera. And that wasn't the same dude that I knew. So my, I'm looking at this dude like, yo, all he did was go to the third to the fourth power with this shit. He had it in him because he learned it from the beginning by seeing them and by being around them. And that's Russell Simmons, Andre around them, being at those parties. If you learn things like that, from the people that you're around, the people that you hold high regards to, then you're gonna become what they were. And with the fact that you taking drugs and everything now, it'll go rapid on you. And that's what happened to him, bro. Russell Simmons was one of his mentors too. What is Russell Simmons going through? He's going through women saying that 
he was abusive. Women saying that they, they raped him. Women saying that he drugged him. Gene Deal Diddy's former bodyguard also talked about how T.D. Jackson attends almost all of Sean Diddy Combs' predatory parties. He is disappointed as it is not right for T.D. Jackson to attend such events as it is shameful and letting down Christians. Wow. This the Rev? <laughs> At the Diddy party? I wonder who he laying hands on. <laughs> who he saved. <laughs> Him being up in a Diddy party, and it wasn't like that he wasn't partying, because the take that I saw, he was dancing. You know, I grew up in the church, bruh. What I do know, the saints supposed to separate themselves from the sinners. You could tell the difference between a saint and a sinner. What? Well, why are you there? Because you're supposed to be a, 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 his spiritual advisor, and you up in this party. The saints supposed to be separate from the sinners. There's no way that you know what happens in Diddy Party and you supposed to be a Christian. It ain't like you can't come to your church, you can't come to your office. As Gene Deal speaks, we note that it is obvious he doesn't like what Diddy was doing with his immoral predatory parties. So, it is obvious that he can do anything within his power to stop Diddy's actions as soon as possible. That's why, it is highly believed that he was really the one that leaked the alleged trending audio of Meek Mill screaming as Diddy forced himself on him. And to further proof that there has been a lot going on between Meek Mill and Sean Diddy Combs behind closed doors, is Meek Mill's song that gives us a clue of what no one knew. In the song, Meek Mill says, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. I, I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. This means that they have both involved themselves in some dirty stuff that really needs forgiveness. This makes us wonder if the leaked audio could be the answer to the song. And finally, Reggie Wright has also come out to speak against Diddy's actions just like he used to for the longest time. For long, Reggie Wright told people that Diddy was battling with his homosexuality problem but people never took him seriously until recently when many accusations and lawsuits against Diddy emerged. Y'all be, you know, you motherfuckers like always saying, and you too, John, Reggie be lying, Reggie making up shit, but if y'all go and listen to my videos before, y'all see I done spoke on all this bullshit before. He ain't watching the females, he watching the guys. I keep telling y'all the nigga been battling with this homosexuality shit way before all this shit came out. Been telling y'all, Buffy Combs is a fucking homosexual. Any man sitting paying a motherfucking male to come and watch him have sex with his girl is a weirdo. Yeah, that's crazy. But I've been telling y'all the niggas is gay. He's gay. But when you have to have the females around, you gotta hide that that crazy fantasy y'all got. Gene, I told y'all. That's how that shit goes, y'all. That's how that shit goes. Puffy is a weirdo. Been telling y'all he's a weirdo. But now that it's out, everybody else can benefit from the stories. So you've heard it all from the leaked audio to those speaking against Sean Diddy's immoral acts. What's your opinion on this whole thing? feel free to drop your comments down below, because I would really like to know what you guys are thinking. And once again, give a thumbs up to this video, and hit that bell button, because here is where you'll get the latest of Hollywood celebrity news, gossip, rumors, and drama. For now I'm out, but I'll see you guys on the next one.